Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. I'm on tonight to do a challenge in a Paper Possibilities Crazy Crafter group. And that is to make a scrappy mini journal. I've never made a mini journal before, so this should be interesting. So of course we've got to utilize the scraps for this one. So I've dug out my manila folder scraps and these look like, well, this looks perfect because I can just use this piece really and it's already got the fold for me all right so I think I'll do that Let's put that to the side so firstly I want to cut this to size so I think I will grab myself a ruler that's what I might do and a pencil So let us see, that height would be all right. So I might make it the height of this ruler. Let's double check that, yep, that looks all right. And then the width, maybe, Now the width, I'm going to have to measure it on this side first. Might do about seven, seven centimeters. I'm going to cut this side down to the seven centimeters first. Just about there. And then I'm thinking of folding it at this mark here to create a spine and then I want seven centimeters from there so I might just measure that so we want seven from the mark that's just here That'll be about right. Now the length we want to about where that mark is. There. So I'll just make sure this is straight. Put all my scraps away. Use them some other time. And this should be our cover. So what we'll do is I'll just grab my ruler again and try and fold this up. So that makes a pretty nice little cover. I might have to trim that side a bit, but we'll worry about that afterwards. Off, so I'll just cut a little tiny bit off of here. It's a scrappy journal, so it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, that looks a bit better. So the next thing I want to do is cover my cover. What I thought I would use is a scrap piece of wallpaper that I have here. I'm going to adhere my cover to this piece of wallpaper. 
which I think will look nice. I'm just debating whether I, I might want to fold the outside edges over to make it neat. So I'll probably chop this down around about there and then about like that. I think I will try embossing this afterwards because we've got three prompts that we have to use in this mini journal. We've got stamps, um, embossing and paint. It's another thing I must not forget. I've got to use some paint so that will be nice and messy. So yeah, we'll get this down first. So I'll go with the glue stick. And I'll just helm ours um, specifically around the edges and then a little bit on the inside. Should do. Grab my roller out. I'll let this dry well before I run it through the embosser, I think. What I will do is just cut these corners a tad. Okay, so while that's drying, I might fold these edges over. So what I might do is just cut a little wedge. I can make sure, yeah, that's the right one. Just cutting a little wedge where the creases are, where I'm going to fold the spine. Um, so we've had a fair few people do this challenge and really enjoy it so been looking forward to giving it a go probably a little less stressful than doing a full-size journal I don't know but the conditions where you could put as few or as many pages in so that makes it a bit easier there's not many days left in the month to get it done in, so. All right, so I think what I will do is fold this over. And this. Still debating whether I should emboss it now before I fold it, because it'll get a bit thick. I might do that, run it through the um, big shot first. So I'll find an embossing folder. Okay, so I found a folder. It just looks like leaves. I think that one will be nice enough. I don't know how we're going to... I might have to fold one side over just so it um, fits. But that is all right. So I'm pretty sure I'll take this one off. Just use this big mat. Do I use the plates? I think I do. And then we'll put a cover in our embossing folder. Yeah, that'll do. Try and get it pretty even. I think that'll do. On. I'll just make sure my plates are straight and I'll give it a run through. Looks good on that side. 
Oh, there we go. That's quite nice. So we'll fold the edges over now and see if that is what we want. So now I'll stick my edges down. grab my ruler again and fold these pieces. I think my embossing squeezed out some of the glue. Now it's hard to see where I had it folded, but that's all right, we can follow. Where we've cut here. Not looking too bad. Get a little on everything. cover covered. I've got to debate whether I want to sew or not. I might not. It's looking pretty good actually. So we we'll want to cover the inside as well. So I'm thinking what shall I cover that with? So I have gone through some of my paper scraps and found some pieces. I don't think I did that one. Or did I? I have no idea but I like it. don't know if I'll put it and there I have it as a page. Um, I also have some of these, which again, I don't know if I did them or someone else did. <laughs> but anyway, they're all scrap bits that I've got hanging around. Kind of like this one. Trying to see my marks is going to be difficult. About right there. And then width wise. You want to see some of the green. we'll end up putting something down the spine just to cover in these bits nicely. So what I might do is ink around that I think and I will go in my walnut stain Okay, and again, I'm going to use my stick glue as well as some Helmers. Alright, now, I just want 
to get a bit of a crease going. And then we'll let it dry. I'll get some pages going. So I'm just gonna let that dry now. I've got this one which I like, so I think we'll use that. Some other scrappy bits here. No, they might be a bit thick. Let's have a look. I do kind of like that one. Then I've got some paper from a paper bag. Or wrapping paper, whatever it is. Actually, this is nice. This is from a book. It's almost like um, craft card stock. So I might use some of that. That'll make a nice, robust page. I do have some leftovers from previous projects. It says Kaiser Craft Precious Moments. Oh, I really like that. No reason we can't put a few pretty pieces in. I've got my book page. Bits. I don't know if I've got like that would go. Yeah, there's enough of that to do a page. And then I've got some bits and pieces here. I have more of the wallpaper. Be nice to use that somewhere. It looks like avocado dyed, which would be nice. And I've got this bag of scraps as well. Just grabbing the bits out that look like they might go nicely. That is a piece of coffee dyed, tea dyed paper, I think. That can be used for some pages. All right, I think we'll sit with that and see what we've got. I'm gonna have a broken doily, that's scrap. Some music paper, off cut. Let's make some pages. So what I will do is measure how big we want our pages. So it's about three and one, two, three, four, three and five eighths. Bye. So we're looking at maybe five and one eighth. Try that out. Okay, so let's grab a piece that we want to cut. I'll start with this because this is just beautiful. I wonder if any of the edges are already straight. This one would be. So let's do our 13. Right, hang on, let's do our 5 and 1 8. That way, do five and one eight. And then we'll do it three and five eighths. So that'd be three, one, two, three, four, five. Give this a fold and we'll see if it fits and then we know our measurements might work. And then I've got to decide if I want, I probably want a couple of signatures. Yeah, I might do two or three little signatures in this. Oh, 
Yeah, that'll fit all right. It's a little small, but that's all right. So we'll stick with that size. Right, so here's a few of our pages so far. And I was thinking maybe two signatures actually would be enough to try and sew through there. So we'll figure out which ones we want as our signature covers. I'm thinking maybe these two. Uh -huh. That goes really nice with that. With these two. And we could do three. I could manage it. Decisions, decisions. Put that in there. Put that in there. One, two, three, four pages in that one. So far we've just got a two in there. We need a two dyed paper. And I think 
Maybe this one. That one's got a pocket thing as well, though. Maybe that can go on that one. It goes nicer with that. And we'll need a two dyed in there. So far we've got these three signatures. I can put the green one in the middle. So that would be pretty well enough pages if we're going to add any embellishments because that's getting chunky enough as it is. So I'm just going to go around the edge of this could go in over that um, embossing as well, highlight it a little bit. I just sort of need some inking too, which is painful. So I'll go around all the pages and just ink the edges because I just think that'll look nice. So I have inked around all my little pages and I've got them all together. They're looking pretty good. And I've been looking for a use for these bits of chipboard that come in their scrapbook albums. So I thought I'd actually use one and do a hidden spine in this, why not? So I've got to cut this down to size. So I might just take it off there. So we're gonna want that to be about that long we should do. We've got to get it so it's still going to close, which is the hard part. So I'm thinking about there and there. So we'll cut it down and see what we think. What I'll do is measure. Looks like it's about a centimetre and one millimetre. So there we've got a centimetre. So just straighten that up. Now I'm probably best off using my knife to try and cut this. Just use a big mat. And a metal ruler. To cut this down. What the? How do you get it to stay? <laughs> I've never used a knife like that before. I think I'll put that one back. I don't want to cut myself on camera. I'll use one that I'm familiar with. little pace. Now we'll see if that fits in there snugly. So if we're going to close the pages, I think that'll do. All right, so now what we have to do is figure out where we want our signatures on there. So it was 11 millimetres, so that would be, we'll just do 5 millimetres as the halfway mark. It's close enough. If 
It's not going to go the whole way either, is it? This one looks all right. Okay. So it's nine and one, two, three. I say nine and four, so that's five and half, six, seven. It's five and seven. Eight, four, five, six, seven. Four and seven, idiot. All right. So halfway is four centimeters and seven millimeters. So we'll do a dot there and then I'm going to do three hot pamphlet stitch that should be plenty and then I will probably do it I think about one and a half in from either end one and a half there and I'm going to eyeball the rest because I don't have to be too specific so that's going to be our metal signature and then the next one we will put there there and there and then this one we'll put there, there, and there. That'll do. Yeah. Now we want a pokey tool. And so we'll poke holes in this. We'll try not to break this. I think it's a quilling tool. signatures and what we'll do for that is grab a bit of scrap paper that's pretty well a perfect length almost I'm just gonna poke some holes in our paper to help us with our signatures so I'm gonna go through the middle holes here if I can find it Fold in half where the dots are. And that'll help us bind our signature. Actually, I should probably cover this first because I definitely want to cover it with something. Um, some calico scrap would be nice since we're doing scraps. I have this bag full of stuff. This bit looks all right. started off pretty crooked so let's stick this on and then trim it a bit more so I might do that again so that we can see them So 
know which side I want where, but that'll do. All right, so now I've got to put our signatures in. So I wanted to start with this one. So we want to make sure that we've got our pages where we want them. That up there. No, I think it can go down there. And we'll get our little piece of paper and slip it down in there. And I'll po poke holes through the holes that we have in the paper. piece. I have my lots of stuff here. <laughs> that piece looks plenty long enough. Okay, I'm even using scraps of cotton which is good. So I'll need to find a needle for this one. Hopefully this will go through all right. dangling in the middle or do we want to put it out the back I might do this one from the back in so I shouldn't have let these go because now they're not gonna line up but that is all right there's not too many pages so we can do them page by page if we need to which it looks like we will need to for this last page Look, I picked up all my threads somehow. And then we'll go down to the bottom hole. Looking all right, and then we go back through this middle hole. So I'll do this piece first. thread over the other side. Now we tighten them up. That is getting nicely tight there. I'll just check. Now look them tight. Got them all in the right holes and it is up the right way. So in that case we can tie our little knot. Trim. 
so that's our first signature put in so what I'll do is go off and put our other two signatures in and then I will be back so here I have all the pages for my mini journal sewn onto my spine so I tied the first and last signature to the back and I tied the middle signature into the front of the signature here and left some danglies. So the next thing for me to do is stick this into my cover and hope that it, it's not too, I'm looking at it now and think maybe it is a bit big, my cardboard, but I mean, it shot's all right. It's just looking a little tad tight up this end. That seems all right. Okay, so now I've got to do a final thought of which way the, my cover is up. Do we want it that way? Or do we want it that way? I think I'll do that way. So I'll put a pile of glue onto the chipboard. Also helps hold our knots and our threads. Um, together too and tight so I'm just holding the fabric up so I can see where I'm placing my spine board it's hard because I can't really see where the grooves are I think down that way a bit now quickly shut it so I can make sure it's in there right that's looking pretty good so now what I will do is Press it down. Now get one of my rollers and press it down on that side. And then in between each of my signatures. Here's really well. I think I've got it where I want it. Yeah, it's pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is just leave this. I might clip it and then leave it sitting up like this somewhere while my glue dries for an hour. Not that it'll take that long. Some people say overnight, but I think that depends on the type of glue that you're using. But that is our pages um, put into our cover of our mini journal. So I think I'll finish this video there and I will come back next video and do some decorating. So be good everyone, have fun and I will see you soon.